Hi, I'm Beth. Welcome to the Intel Stacks Data End-to-End -end Pipeline. So this, in this demo, what we're doing is we're taking two of the Intel Stacks and tying them together into a data pipeline. We'll be using the Data Analytics Reference Stack as well as the Deep Learning Reference Stack to analyze and then train a model to provide predictions from the Stack Overflow data set. So this data set uses, is, it's very large, um, 37 gigabytes worth of posts and comments. So what we've done is in the data analy analytics reference stack, um, which includes an optimized Spark, we've pulled that data in. Um, we're cleaning it up. You can see that the, the schema itself is very large, and all I need is the tags, the questions, and the ID. So what I've done is I've used the data analytics reference stack to clean up this data. Um, I process it and then I make it available to the deep learning stack, which is another containerized software stack. Um, they're, both of these stacks are based on Clear Linux, so you get very highly performant uh, containers that inside the container in the deep learning stack, for example, we have TensorFlow that has been optimized to run on Intel hardware. So what we what we end up with is the ability to ask a question of our model, um, and then the model will predict tags. These are the tags that you should apply if you're putting this question into Stack Overflow. So we're doing um, a deep learning use case by tying together these two data pipelines. So you ask a question, you get your tag predictions. Um, in, as we go forward with this, we'll also be able to include the Intel database stack, which will provide us the ability to use Spark to clean data. We can then store that cleaned data for training by the deep learning stack and store it in the database stack. We can also train multiple models and have them stored and available. And since all of these containers are easily orchestrated with Kubernetes, you can have distributed an analysis and training available at all times. You can put them on cloud service providers. Um, you can have an internal, if you have an internal infrastructure that is CPU based, because you've got these highly performance stacks, you're still going to get great performance out of the software running on your CPUs. There's no need to build out a GPU infrastructure right now. You can still get great performance with the Intel CPUs using our optimized stacks.